uh, settle down. We'd like to get started. This is only a 20 minute slot, so we'd like to use every bit of it that we can. <laughs> 20 minutes. I like it, guys. <laughs> okay, so let me introduce the Montreal uh, DevConf 17 team. They're pretty awesome. That's Jerome, also known as LavaMind. <laughs> <laughs> then it's uh, Gabriel, known as Lelote on RSC. He's literally getting... <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his hair dyed during the talk. <laughs> um, then there's uh, Poyito's older brother, Louis Philippe, also known as Poyo. And Alexandre, uh, otherwise known as uh, Avio. Cool, welcome. All right, thank you. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks to everyone watching us uh, from Montreal on the stream. Hi from Cape Town, South Africa. We're coming up. Uh, so basically, uh, all of us, we've been uh, really listening to feedback uh, from, uh, from last year and um, from uh, DC, uh, DC 15. And so we're introducing today Deb Cold 17 in February in Montreal. So this year was a, just a transition slightly to, so people will be able to uh, in, escape the blazing heat of the northern hemif hemisphere in, uh, in next DevConf. Uh, but no, uh, more seriously, we'd like to introduce uh, DevConf 17 in Montreal. We're really excited to be talking to you about this uh, uh, today. And so we'll be going quickly through the major points uh, of uh, next year's uh, event. And of course, at the end, we'll really hope we'll have some time for questions and discussions. Uh, any concerns uh, you, uh, you want to bring up, just feel free to uh, catch me or anyone else on the team and, uh, and uh, talk to us about it. So the official dates of DEPCONF 17 are uh, the first two weeks of August 2017. Uh, DebCamp, July 31st, August 4th. Uh, we're planning a great Debian day on August 5th and the DebConf per se uh, on August 6th to August 12th. These are actual official dates. You can book them right away. Um, <laughs> we've had great uh, collaboration from uh, the people on our venue. Uh, we're, we have a great, uh, great contact uh, with them. Uh, of course, it helps that I work there, so, um, so yeah, we, we can uh, already uh, announce these dates uh, today. So what's the weather going to be like? Uh, not very much like Cape Town uh, in summer, uh, in, in the winter as it is right now. Um, we're going to have more uh, along uh, regular North American uh, temperatures of uh, daily maximum average of, of 25 degrees cent centigrade and uh, during the night 15, so it's great weather for uh, outdoor activities, bring sunscreen, light clothes, bathing suits, uh, whatever you need to hack uh, on the Blue Sky Hack Lab. Uh, of course, what to, what to look for in Montreal, we have lots of green spaces. The uh, venue itself is in the city of Montreal, but it's not in the downtown core. There's, uh, um, there's minimum concrete uh, around us, lots of uh, parks and, and spaces really close by. So if you want to just have, uh, have a minute, uh, have a few, uh, some time just away from things, uh, uh, Montreal is a great place uh, for this. But uh, the Montreal Botanical Garden, world-renowned, lots of different gardens and ex exhibits all year long. Uh, it's about a five-minute walk from the venue. This here uh, we're showing is the Chinese ex uh, garden. There's, we've got also um, uh, the, uh, amazing greenhouses, indigenous uh, plants gardens, uh, j the Japanese garden, which is also very, uh, very known. And we're exploring options uh, for, using, um, for using the botanical garden as our DepConf dinner uh, venue. The Olympic Park, again, very close to the venue, just a short walk away. Um, the, what you see here is the, the main stadium, Montreal Tower, the largest inclined, uh, highest inclined tower in the world. Uh, there's sports installations, uh, Olympic-sized pool, uh, the football stadium is right next to it, and as well as the planetarium, so also lots of options uh, to visit really close to the venue. Shops and pubs, we're not in the middle of nowhere. Uh, just, uh, again, 10-minute walk away, you can find... Uh, Main Street with pubs, shops, grocery stores, pharmacy, um, and our pubs close at 3 a.m. 
all week long. <laughs> Do we get an extension for DevCon? <laughs> we'll, we're working on that. <laughs> but we, we, we're probably not going not gonna to need it. Uh, nature reserves also, if you want to uh, go a little further from the city, uh, there's uh, great places uh, to just uh, go spend the day, enjoy, uh, enjoy nature, and of course, uh, lots of water. Montreal is actually an island. So Saint Laurent River is uh, is uh, obviously some uh, something we'll want uh, Depcon first to have the chance to explore. Montreal also uh, is a very interesting. There's lots of uh, free software um, things going on. Um, so obviously we've been working with uh, all of these uh, groups and more to make sure that uh, Depcon 17 is uh, is a, a local and not only global event. As for the venue itself, uh, the venue is called Collège de Maisonneuve. Uh, it's a very large college, about 6,000 students uh, during regular semesters. It's about two kilometers from the downtown core. Um, we, uh, the, the college itself is served by uh, two metro stations, two subway stations, very easy to get to and from. And we're holding the, the, the dates of DEPCONF are actually between two semesters. So, uh, uh, we'll pretty much have uh, the college uh, to ourselves, which is going to be really interesting. Uh, so some pictures of from the venue. We have the main hall here, great place for a job fair, booths, um, just hanging around. Main talks room. We're renting this place for uh, the entire DEPCONF. Uh, it can uh, host up to 500 people. It's a really comfortable space, comfortable seats and a really nice um, uh, stage there. If people want to do actual uh, theater or dancing during their talk, everything is there to uh, accommodate them. Uh, we can have a dance night uh, of course, having a dance night uh, on the stage, no problem. Our conference uh, rooms, this is, uh, this is the se uh, secondary conference room. Again, very big space. Uh, this one can uh, host uh, up to 400 participants, depending on the setup. We really, uh, we're free to set up the room as we want. Um, what, one of the things that we were looking for uh, during the venue was, a, um, was a, a place that has lots of natural light. So as you can see, this is really something that we were getting from Collège Maisonneuve. Um, so um, uh, we can we can have natural light uh, all all through uh, all through the day. Again, this is the th uh, third um, uh, conference room, talk room. This one can host up to 150 people. One of the highlights of Collège Maisonneuve is the interior garden. The interior garden is a, a huge uh, garden that is uh, covered with uh, windows. So you have lots of plant species there, lots of big trees. Uh, it's, the interior garden is actually reserved for uh, Depp Camp and Depp Conf. Uh, it's not planned to use, uh, to use it for any talks or anything specific. People will be free to lounge around, hack around, uh, just sit on the, on the side, sit, sit on the floor, whatever, uh, under a tree. This is going to be possible um, 24 hours a day, anytime uh, uh, for the whole event. It's also going to, we're also looking at it, at it uh, as a potential venue for the cheese and wine. Um, talk, speaking of cheese and wine, you can import up to 20 kilograms of cheese in Canada <laughs> legally. Per person or per person? Per person. <laughs> but that's the legal limit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So hack labs, of course, very important. Uh, we have really nice uh, rooms for hack labs, uh, at least two different rooms for to have a noisy and uh, quiet hack lab. Um, uh, all the facilities are there, um, sofas, ch tables, chairs. This one actually has a sink and microwave, so um, very, uh, very interesting facilities for us to use. Uh, the non-quiet one is actually it's it's uh, adjacent to the dining hall, so it's not it's not uh, right next to it. Um, so this is the dining hall, very very big room. Um, it can host up to a thousand people, so really no uh, no problems with uh, seating in there. And classrooms, we we're gonna have about uh, about twenty four classrooms all to ourselves. 
The classrooms are going to be um, very comfortable spaces to hold boffs, workshops, and any other kind of activities or, or things that we want organized. We're going to also use this for shared accommodation. So accommodation at, at DEBCOM 17, um, unfortunately, our uh, Collège Maisonneuve doesn't uh, uh, have, isn't equipped with student residences. So what we figured is that we're going to use these classrooms, which are uh, in the most recently built uh, part of the college. So it's very clean, very new. Uh, the, the facilities are, are very clean. Um, and we have uh, lots of windows in, in all, the, in all the, the, the classrooms. We're aiming to host about a um, uh, maximum of 8 to 10 people per room. So keep in mind, these are very big classrooms. They usually host, host about um, 40 students. Uh, on, uh, during normal uh, use. We're, of course, we're going to try to make it as comfortable uh, for people as possible. We're going to have uh, themed, uh, we're looking into uh, dividing these rooms uh, as themed, um, themed rooms. Uh, for example, if uh, people um, are usually party goers, uh, usually sleep late at night, uh, make noise, we're going to try to do our best to group these people together. People want a quiet space. Um, uh, go to sleep, uh, go to bed early, a group those room. together. We're going to put snorers together. <laughs> put the snorers together. Um, uh, so yeah, family rooms. We're also uh, partnering with uh, hotels. We have at least one hotel nearby. Uh, we're we're going to get group rates uh, to, uh, to make sure that anyone who's really uh, unable to use this kind of accommodation will still be able to come to DebConf and have a great time. <laughs> right. <laughs> of course, showers and lockers will be available. Um, these are like basic facilities uh, that uh, we want uh, to provide to everyone. Um, next, about entry requirements. We were aware that uh, Canada isn't the most visa-friendly country uh, in the world. Um, borders will be borders, unfortunately, and um, yeah, our border guards, unfortunately, are probably not star sorry if they can find any reason to turn people away. Uh, that sucks, but we're, we're still going to do our best to um, um, make sure that everyone who wants to come to DEPCONF gets a visa, gets their documentation uh, to be able to cross the border. And basically, we're also uh, looking into working with government agencies um, to get uh, all uh, DEP conferences into Montreal, and we'll really do any, uh, we'll try to do everything short of smuggling people into the country. Um, so, just wanted to make sure uh, everyone who's uh, worried about uh, the visa process, the entry process, please get in touch with us, uh, get in touch with us early, and uh, we'll, 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 um, we'll support your process. So. <laughs> Might work. So thank you all. Uh, um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure, uh, please, uh, we have five minutes less, le uh, left. If you, can't, if you aren't able to ask your question, uh, please let us know. And most importantly, please, please uh, send your feedback at feedback at depconf.org. We really want to make this depconf uh, even one, uh, one uh, step uh, better than this depconf and uh, the depconfs before. So we, we're going to need, of course, uh, as much feedback from you guys as possible uh, to make next year amazing. Can you show us the dates again? Dates. The question was for dates. No, but I want, yeah. So what's the alternative accommodation for people that don't want to sleep in classrooms? <clears throat> the, the main alternative is a hotel, which is located uh, just under a kilometer away. Uh, it's on the same road, so it's, it's really not complicated to get to and from. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, we, you, it's easy to bike to and from. Uh, w the walk is a bit long. It's about 20-minute, 20 25-minute walk. Uh, but uh, there's, bus there's city buses around on this street. So uh, 
people are going to be staying in uh, at this hotel there's going to be a little bit of transportation involved but of course uh, if we can make uh, everything uh, more simple by uh, for example doing shuttles or things like that that's something we can definitely uh, work with Montreal has a great bike sharing program too so you can just rent a bike and take the bike and just put in them back uh, and the hotel the actual hotel as Jerome was talking about is across a park so the whole walk is crossing a park also uh, on the topic of transportation in Montreal uh, the metro is actually pretty good and the college being right near the metro there's a lot of hotels within metro distance Presentation was in English. Does it mean that English stays the official language of the <laughs> DevCon? <laughs> you, can get, you can get around uh, pretty well oui. in English. <laughs> um, yeah. Montreal is pretty much uh, bilingual, so uh, every shop in there in Montreal you can you can get around it with English. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> We're one thing that. So, um, <laughs> one thing that we'll, we'll definitely work on is uh, during Debian Day, open weekend, uh, we're going to probably plan to have a uh, whispered translation uh, during the talks then so that uh, uh, francophone, uh, uh, French speaking people can, can come in and, and, list and have uh, translated talks uh, available. So, but on the, on the, I mean, that's now a DevConf again, a non English speaking uh, country. So, perhaps about a few introduction lessons in French for the DevConf attendees. <laughs> So how can you compete with the day trip options from this DebCon? <laughs> <laughs> One of the day trips I want to do is a pub crawl. <laughs> <laughs> we have we, we have amazing microbreweries in, in Montreal, um, and it would be really nice, you know, to showcase them. Um, yeah, maybe biking too. There is also a good train transport system in Montreal, so you could get to uh, the Montagne and very far uh, within a reasonable price. So, so you asked about, uh, sorry, you mentioned about whisper translations. Um, local team, could we have vo volunteers for video teams to make sure we have the translations on everything? <laughs> He's already on the video team. <laughs> I think a whisper translation is going to be, you know, someone in the room whispering to other people. We may work subtitle. with, we may work with subtitle. We may have um, there's these little uh, radio microphones you can have too. We're going to look into it. Last question. Regarding this uh, stuff, uh, I know that during uh, CCC Congress in, in uh, Berlin. Uh, they have uh, live translation of some talks, so maybe you could ask them how they are doing in technical way. Many people. Yeah. I, heard, I heard they had like 1,000 volunteers, so if we get 1,000 volunteers, maybe we're going to do the same system as CCC, but uh, we'll see. Cool. Thank you, Montreal team. <laughs>